Well, hey, shoot doodlers. Um, following on from my last video, which you can see up here, which was um, sort of about doing things in sketchbooks, uh, I have various people ask me about what I use. Um, so first of all, um, this is an A5 travel journal, and it's made by CY to Brighton, which you probably can't see there. And the paper is, oh, I don't know, it's probably not brilliant, but it's okay. It's actually quite slightly... Um, it's a little bit porous, so the ink sometimes sort of spreads, you know, but I, I quite like that in a way. I've got other books which are sort of really good paper, but, you know, I, I quite like this because it, it feels a bit cheaper and so you don't feel quite so precious about it, if that makes sense. Um, and then uh, the pen that I'm using and always use is the Rotring Tiki Graphic. This is a 0.3. I either use a 0.3 or a 0.4. I really like these because they're quick, they're cheap and disposable. And the most important thing for me anyway about it is that they dry waterproof so that you can watercolour over the top and then the ink won't smear. And that, that is the really important thing for me. Also, um, I, I just like them, really, I think. <laughs> um, and, then, uh, and then this is the, the brush I've been using. It's a Derwent Aqua brush. Um, this is really weird. I, when I first tried these, I thought they were just toys. When I first saw them, I thought they were just toys. And somebody asked me if I would try them out. And, and I'm really, really fond of this, this now. It's a really different way of working. So you put the water in the handle and then as you're painting, the water kind of flows through into the brush. And when you want to clean it, you just dib dab dib dab on your piece of tissue paper. So you want to take some sort of kitchen towel with you as well or a napkin or something. Um, and uh, it, it, it is different from working with a normal brush. Uh, so you probably need to just practice with that. And this is the little set I got if you click here you will see I made a video about the unboxing of this and I chose this set because it's reasonably cheap but it's kind of reasonably good quality and very easy uh, to take with you now since uh, since I got it I have replaced the black with neutral tint um, which isn't a Cotman but it still wins and Newton it's the color series and I'm just now about to replace the white which I just don't use um, with Naples yellow, which I've been really, really missing. But, you know, colours are really up to you. So I'm taking the white out. Also with this set, these boxes, these um, these half pans, these are called half pans, okay? A, a full pan is twice the width. Um, I find they don't really fit in here perfectly well. So I'm getting a little bit of blue tack, and you always want to kind of stretch blue tack to make it sticky, and I'm going to put that in the bottom and stick that in on the top because otherwise what happens is you come to paint and you find that they were all sticky and they got stuck on the top and and they've got pulled themselves out as it were so i'm gonna, just going to go through the rest of this um putting in some blue tack the others have got themselves stuck in with sort of bits of paint and stuff like that but uh, this is this should sort my problem out Okay, I'm putting all the Amazon links for these things uh, down below if you need them. Uh, I want to sort of ha have a go with the same things. So what do I do? Um, the, there's a little face I saw on the TV the other day which has been slightly obsessing me. And it's kind of quite a big nose. Um, and a little thing on the top. And a very, 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 very kind of big full mouth and funny little piggy eyes so it's kind of cartoony but this is this is my style and uh, <laughs> you don't have to do my stuff but you know whatever you do when you look at how other people do things you kind of learn from from them and also you notice this time I'm just drawing straight not um, going into a pencil and then drawing on the top so um, we want kind of a fringe like that and the chin is going to kind of go there and we're going to get a bit of ear showing 
Is this a girl or a boy, do you think? It's meant to be a girl. <laughs> Not terribly attractive. It's based on a girl's face that I saw. But I think I'm I'm just playing with it really and, and sort of taking it it sort of seems to have gone a bit boyish this time. Um so I'm just gonna do a kind of T shirty kind of thing. But what I'm really doing is just to show you, you know, how you can quickly draw something and then maybe I'd want to put a bit of shading in, I don't know, you can do. And we'll have some eyebrows in there. Now this is what I'm really trying to do. I'm sort of pretending that I'm 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 out <laughs> in a bar or in a museum or something like that and drawing. So I'm squeezing a bit of water in into this palette here just to clean it up. So you do want to take a bit of kitchen towel with you as well. And these are all the tools that you need. Um, and what, what I've been finding, I've been very finding it very hard to do kind of white skin colours. And and I have my kind of way of doing that, which is with Naples yellow. Uh, which is kind of the easiest way I find. Now, one one of the the other problems, um, it's not a problem, but but what is different about this brush is that as you keep brushing, all the colour disappears. Whereas in a normal kind of watercolour thing, you kind of pick up the colour and and you've got to brush a load of colour. Whereas <laughs> the more you keep brushing, the the water keeps flowing, and uh, and you lose the colour. So you kind of have to keep coming back and sometimes you put too much on and uh, you know so sometimes you're making a real mess and sometimes it works and sometimes it does sometimes you get a happy accident and sometimes you don't so now I'm adding a little bit of sort of red into the nose here and you know you might be wanting to do completely different um, skin tones um, in which case you're going to want to need to use different colours, but uh, your ochres and burnt sienna and uh, things Van Dyke brown here, I think, uh, you know, will will really kind of sort all most other kind of skin tones out. But I find a kind of a white Caucasian skin tone is I find is 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 best and e more most easily done with Naples yellow and a little bit of kind of vermilion to add a bit of pinkness to it. But then this is my kind of cartoony approach. You know, you might be more artistic. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, some people will, you know, paint paint with blues and greens and things. It doesn't matter. But you know, it's you, you do what you want. It's you, you do it your way. Oh, that's not a Van Dyke. I got those the wrong way around. I have to replace those because <laughs> you get used to where the colours are, and you just kind of go to them automatically. And if they swapped around, it gets a bit complicated. Now I'm going to have a little bit of blue, and again, you see, to to make it really thin, you've got to really thin it down in the palette, which is quite difficult. So I'm I'm just uh, adding a bit of blue around there, um, and I want a bit more kind of pinkiness in the in the lips here. So I'm just playing really trying things out but you can and I'm also trying to show you how this brush works um, oh that's gone a bit over the top uh, 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 so I'm <laughs> you need to have this out on hand to keep sort of cleaning the brush this is how you clean the brush you don't go ding 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 in a jar of water so um, and then I think I need some little bits of um, I'm using burnt sienna for, for for freckles along there, and then also a bit in the kind of shadows there. Um, I seem to have picked up some blue from there. So, so you know, the, I think if you're wanting to do really really accurate paintings, then maybe this isn't the brush for you. Um, you know, really kind of accurate because you do get a lot of kind of weird things happen, but it doesn't matter. I think the more you play, the more you get used to the brush. Um, you know, you, 
it's fine it's quite easy to to dirty it up a little bit and and then you have to kind of clean it and then maybe by cleaning it by accident I'm picking up a bit of purple there and then it that's smears onto something else um so you have to be you know feel quite free and uh, be happy to go with any accidents uh, which quite often turn into good things and I think I'm gonna have a kind of blue and you can see I picked up a load of blue there and and that was too much so I'm just squeezing the brush on here now to add water so that I can push it around <laughs> So while you're drunk, you're actually squeezing at the same time sometimes to um, to to affect what it is you're trying to do. I'm going to put little bits of blue in. I just suddenly decided I'm going to put some. Ah, but that's too much, so I have to get get it off the brush. So that's ruined it, hasn't it? There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking I want a little bit of sort of shading up here as well, probably. which would maybe be better with a bit of... Um, this is the this that I'm using here now is is um, neutral tint and it's not black, which is very important. I, I, I find black in watercolor just really muddies things up. So if you go and have a look at the unboxing video, see the first thing I did was to throw the black out um, because it, it just black and watercolor don't really work together. <laughs> It, it, the, in in the style that I do anyway, and um, I'm going to get a bit of that just to do some sort of background here. And now you can see I'm squeezing water at the same time. It's kind of getting thinner as I pull that to one side, and I want to do something similar on the other side. So it's quite strong colour here and up around there but as, now i'm starting to squeeze water so as i squeeze it cleans the brush and it gets thinner and thinner there but, so there you go i've added links to all these kind of things down below and um this was done pretty much in real time i've edited a few bits out now one of my viewers marbles 24 commented on my last video and said you know so they only carry a small purse and you know what do i use and uh i just i just have a small backpack day pack whatever you call it and uh, and this is all you need it's not an awful lot to take with you but if you're going out sketching for the day you probably want to take a bottle of water or a drink you know and a snack or something like that so it's not going to fit in a small purse anyway you're going to need uh, you know something a bit more rugged um you know, call it your sketching set and that's what you go out with so anyway there we are that's what i do and, <laughs> and that's what i use so uh, if you want to do the same uh, look at the links below well i hope you enjoyed that and if you did why not go and have a look at another one of my videos or try the mystery drawing make sure you're subscribed for new drawings every monday and friday check out my website shoeradio.com and why not get my new book everyone can draw in the meantime keep drawing 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 Practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.